Hey guys, I'm Magic Dave, um, and this is uh, World Project, is what I'm calling it. Um, so yeah, I've uh, been working on shaders again, um, still haven't got started on any gameplay, but that's, um, I guess I was kind of thinking that I need to be in kind of a ship in this game, and then when I started thinking about the first things that I would do, I'd probably actually start rendering a ship, and then I realised, you know, I had didn't have any shaders for actually rendering objects in the game or anything. Um, and also in the last video um, I'd just done the atmosphere and it was pretty quickly clear that the terrain was then the weakest link like it just didn't um, didn't look very good it wasn't getting lit very well um, and so I started working on shaders fixing up the shaders for that and then realized that I should probably just sort of create some test objects to try to get um, things um, working a bit more realistically um, so this is all using um, physically based shaders is basically the technique and that's kind of a broad term that covers quite a lot of um, different sort of sub techniques but it basically means that all I'm specifying to create different materials is um, the roughness of the material and the metallicness of the material uh, and the and the colour, the base colour. And that's pretty much it. Um, beyond that, the maths kind of takes care of every, everything. So it's a really, really good technique for um, making it easier to kind of create and reuse uh, materials within um, game engines. Um, so it's been it's been a busy few days. It's 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 actually been really hard work um, trying to get this working. But so what you're looking at here um, is the close objects are um, more reflective. They've got a high gloss whereas um, the ones near the end are rougher so um, it's sort of at a, at a micro level so um, the actual objects as they're being rendered are all exactly the same these are spheres, uh, icosahedrons with sort of I think four, four subdivisions um, but the shaders are saying you know this this is a rougher metal um, so th this is supposed to be gold um, it's got properties I think actually I might have tweaked a little bit it's pretty close to the properties of gold so that would be like a really rough um, sort of, uh, well, you know, just 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 a rough metal. Um, whereas down this end is really highly polished, and likewise, um, this is a, a white, um, just a, a white sort of plastic, like no metal. So there's there's no metal um, set on this, um, and so that's glossy. It's reflecting the stuff around it, and then up here you've got your your white diffuse. Um, so that's um, got no uh, added reflections although it does still it's, um, even rough objects do reflect more around the edges and stuff which is all kind of really interesting stuff actually that I um, you know I've learned a lot about how light reacts with surfaces and stuff doing all of this um, so it's actually been quite quite interesting but yeah um, and that's this is a silver ball much like the gold uh, and this is close to black um, it's just just off black uh, and these are just cubes, that's a silver cube and a white cube um, just spinning um, so that's uh, yeah and then you can see these big big towers here um, so they're um, about 2,000 meters tall <laughs> so they're, they're really massive um, and I just yeah I thought I'd see how how large structures would work uh, there seems to be a little bit of a glitch up on these corners I don't know what's going on there that's pretty weird but um, yeah, they're sort of they're sort of working quite well. There's there's some definite limitations. So you can see that these are kind of reflecting in the water. Um, that's kind of a hack. So the the water here is using exactly the same shaders as, as what's running on the balls. Well, pretty much the same. Um, so the terrain, water, everything, everything's using basically one shader. And I'm specifying that water is you know quite glossy and you know has these materials. Um, and so everything's getting rendered into this cube map and then down sampled down to um, uh, rougher and rough, rougher sort of smoother looking reflections um, and that's being mapped onto everything um, and it's rendering that cube map from the player's position and that gives kind of the illusion of reflections especially when you start getting quite close to surfaces um, but it does break down and that in particular breaks down because it basically it, it treats everything as though it's infinitely far away so when you get close to objects and I start moving around you can see there's sort of a shadow behind behind it that sort of peeks out around the edge sometimes um, and like if I get down here and start looking at um, 
the kind of reflections on here. Um, well, it's, I mean, it's not too bad, but you do start to see sort of ghosting and stuff just on edges of things. Um, yeah, you can see it quite badly there. I mean, you know, it's it's just going to be a matter of just trying to um, work with the limitations of what's going on. I mean, I might be able to try to uh, only reflect, only look up the map from things behind where the object is or something, use the depth buffer. I don't know. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be too, um, too easy to kind of go on from here. But I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. Like, I'm pretty stoked with how this is all sort of looking. Um, like just you know the reflections of these objects just looks pretty amazing really I mean this is kind of th these physically based shaders are kind of the next gen technique it's um, the papers that I used to look at it um, to figure it all out was um, some, uh, was an Unreal Engine 4 um, session that was given in a conference and they published some code uh, but it was a matter of trying to sort of get that working along with like that sort of didn't tell you how to do a whole lot of stuff so I had to sort of look through other other papers find other source code and sort of just patch it all together and then it didn't look right you know there were bugs and had to figure out what was going on and yeah it was quite <laughs> quite a major exercise but yeah I mean I'm I'm really stoked with how it's um, how it's looking um, I haven't done the trees yet but um, yeah, I mean, you can sort of see how the snow is reflecting the sky. You know, you've got this blue reflections on um, coming into there. It's not just black anymore. Um, I do have a nighttime light source now. It's sort of, it's actually kind of as though there's a full moon above your head is pretty much what it's doing. Um, and yeah, it is a little bit jerky performance wise. It still needs some work, um, but that's going to be, you know, I'm just going to have to keep doing working on that all the way through it's just going to be a matter of compromise and really until I get some gameplay in here and know what I'm trying to achieve um, it's a bit of a waste of time um, working too much on that um, but I'm going to probably order a gaming PC um, this afternoon because I want to I want to get this working at full frame rate on the um, Oculus Rift and this Mac that I'm using just isn't up to it so that's going to be exciting um yeah so i guess i'll leave it there i, th I i'm just um yeah I'm, I'm pretty stoked with these shaders um so i think i'll probably not not try to do too much more with them um i think it's time to really get into the gameplay um and um yeah just just start sort of populating a bit more kind of you know vegetation work a little bit on the um the um, terrain generation um, it's all pretty boring at the moment um, and yeah just really try to take this to the next step so yeah uh, until then we'll catch you next time